All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. So a lot of people are talking about this story that came out about a Wisconsin company in America that is going to start microchipping uh, their employees. We said it was coming to America. We saw, we saw it in Sweden. We see it in Israel. We see it in, uh, uh, in Australia and other places like that. Of course, it's where the Zionist, you know, uh, you know, elites are at is where we've seen the microchip. We're not seeing it in, in colored, uh, you know, they're not pushing this in colored countries. Uh, they're, they're pushing this in Zionist, uh, you know, liberal, um, you know, uh, you know, elite areas, right? Sweden, Switzerland, uh, you know, Europe, Israel, Australia, uh, now it's coming to America. Um, and yeah, so this is what they want to do. This is what these people are all about. Um, and uh, they, they, they hate, number one, the reason why they're doing this is because they want to fulfill, they want to fulfill that biblical prophecy of revelations, number one, right? They want to do that. Because they could they could easily ignore the Bible and say, uh, we're, we're, we're going to think of something else to do. But no, they want to fulfill the, the biblical prophecy of the of revelation by microchipping everybody and making everybody come into the beast system. This is what they want to do. This is how evil they are, right? They want to, they want to fulfill, they want to be the people and they're so excited to be the people that fulfill it. And this is one of the reasons why this was the first red flag that I had about Obama was when that Obamacare came out and he had the RFID chip in the Obamacare. Now, of course, Congress at that time fought fought it out and uh, and took it out of the Obamacare but the fact that it was in the Obamacare that was my first red flag on Obama saying what are you, what are you what are you thinking Obama why would you put this demonic uh you know uh, antichrist uh you know microchip system thing in your Obamacare now of course Obama didn't control Obamacare it was just named Obamacare Obama didn't control his Congress. He didn't. He didn't control the people that he he picked in office. Citibank picked his people, or Citigroup picked his people for his office. Obama didn't do anything but 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 uh you know but become but be the president of America and walk around the White House and take vacations and and, and sign executive orders. So everything else was controlled by the Zionist, elitist, uh, New World Order meet, uh, members, and that was crystal clear to everybody. Especially once once the bank started to fall, and we saw this, the, the the clear signs that Obama had, didn't do anything. He he didn't he didn't do anything but be the head of a presidency, so black so colored people could could say we got somebody in there. But Obama didn't control anything. They made sure Obama did not control nothing. The only thing Obama could do was write executive orders. And they made sure Obama didn't write any executive orders for reparations. He didn't write any executive orders for, to anything to help the 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 the, um, the the black you know the colored people, the black people, the Negro people. But man, did he write a lot of things for you know everybody else, right? You know, Wall Street was was, was thanking Obama, and now they're pay, now they're definitely thanking him for five hundred thousand uh, dollars engagement speaks or or three hundred and fifty thousand, four hundred thousand here. And so they're thanking him well. So how do you know somebody is not for you? It's when Wall Street is paying them three hundred to 500000 per speech. They're thanking him for, for the eight years that he did for them. Okay? So that's how you know somebody's not for you. I mean, these, 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 these signs are clear, but when you idolize people, it, 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 uh, you look at the signs, you know it's clear, but you can't see, but you don't want to believe it because you, you're idolizing, right? And that's that's the dangerous part about idolization, right? Many black people know Obama didn't do nothing for us. Many black people know Obama was was with these with was with Citigroup and all these elites, but they don't want to believe it because of his skin color. <laughs> because he married because he married oh, uh, he married uh Michelle Obama. <laughs> Did you see his other girlfriend that he was going to be married to, and what she was, what she said, that he just met a, he met Michelle, uh, so you know that he just met Michelle and said I'm going to pick her because it's going to be able to 
I'll be able to uh, convince the, the the black community that I'm black. <laughs> so instead of picking that other girl, it, it would have looked better for him to marry a black woman or a black whatever Michelle is, you know, it, to marry that. So it, I could get the votes of the black people. Then we had another friend of his say he didn't even know how to play basketball. He didn't even know nothing about rap or basketball <laughs> before the elections. He 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 had to download on his on his phone how the instructions of how to play basketball. <laughs> that's that's coming from the friends. And the vet Carnell actually uh, did a live stream video about that. Uh, I think about two months ago about how Obama didn't even know how to play basketball, didn't even know what rap, didn't even listen to rap music, had to learn all that stuff because, uh, and he learned it from Oprah. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Boy, what we, boy, I tell you, you want to talk about, you want to talk about trick? <laughs> and this is exactly what was in the Obamacare, this thing right here. Now, of course, Congress did take that out the first time. I'm not sure they put it in the second time, but if they did put it in the second time, then that's the reason why we're seeing the microchip now come about uh, is because they did say, remember back then, they were saying by the end of uh, 2017 into early 2018, many co companies will be have giving them up microchips. The governments will be going microchips to be in the military. You're going to have the microchip to, to go into government buildings. You're going to need the microchip, everything. So all a lot of people are going to be out of jobs because they're not going to be taking the microchip and to get in these government buildings and to get in these secret buildings and these IT buildings, everybody's going to have to be microchipped. You're not going to be able to get into these buildings without being microchipped. Okay, so that's going to cause a lot of people to not take it and, and, and lose their jobs. And then some people are going to be out of jobs for three, four, five months and they're going to start starving and then they're going to f give in and then say, I need, I need, to, I need to eat. I need it. I'm starving here. You know, I can't feed my family. I need, I need to, I need to take the microchip and, and so I can be able to work. And that's what's, and that's what's going to happen to some people. And some people are going to say, nope, we're just going to, we're just going to depend on the Lord to, to, you know, for people to come in, bring us food, bring us stuff. Maybe I'll create something online and, uh, and I'll, I'll, you know, I'll be online and I'll create some income online. Maybe I'll trade some cryptos or something like that. And I'll create some income for myself and we'll make it. Okay. You know, you can do that as well. Um, so, yeah. And then as sooner or later, they'll probably have uh, for your for your laptops to work. And for, you know, just for, you know, your laptops to get internet, you probably would have to swipe your your, your hand or your or your forehead with the car with the barcode to be able to access lap the, the, the futuristic laptops and they'll probably make it that those futuristic laptops are the only ones that can actually use the internet and these old laptops that we're using now won't be able to access the, the new internet uh, because you need them you need them you need a, a barcode on your forehead or your eye in your or in your eyes or or on your or tattooed on you to be able to swipe to get onto the internet or the microchip in your hand. They'll probably do something like that to, so we can't use these old laptops, you know, because these laptops should be able to have internet for, for forever. As long as the internet's around, we should be able to use internet with these laptops. It doesn't matter how old they are, right? I can take a 2004 laptop. It should be, it should be able to still be able to ha have internet on it, right? Uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, you can uh, and now of course those a lot of those internet back then don't have Wi-Fi technology on them, but you can adapt the Wi-Fi in there, and it should be work. It should be able to work fine. Or you can plug the inter the, the ether cord on it, and it should be be able to still work. You know, 13 years later, okay. So it should be able to work forever. So we got the Wi-Fi's on these on these laptops. They should be able to work forever. But in the B system, they're probably not going to allow us to do that. They'll probably turn off uh, these computers from working, and you have to by the new technology computers where you have to swipe to, to just, you know, or your chip or your barcode to be able to uh, get into the internet. Okay. That could be the pot. That could be the future uh, within the next 10 years. That could be it. Okay. So I don't know, but anyways, this thing is going to go rapidly because you have these Satanists and these uh, new world order and these liberals and also Republicans that are part of this. Uh, you have these people that are pushing this agenda. They want this thing to happen so fast because they want 
people to be uncomfortable. They want, you know what I mean? So they know this is uncomfortable for a lot of people. This is why they're pushing it hard now. They're going to push it through America. They're going to try to microchip everybody. They want control over the people. That's number one. Number one, they, you know, number one is they want to fulfill revelations, but also they want control. They want control. They can't control a lot of people. And even though they're suppressing people, even though people are in complete slavery over their jobs, working nine to fives, sometimes people are working 12 hours a day just to make ends meet. They, they, they can't, they're trying to control what you say on the, on the media, on media now, social media now, censoring you, saying this, this post looks bad or this post doesn't represent us. Or some, whatever the case may be, they'll unmonetize your videos, blah, blah, blah. They're trying to censor everybody on social media online, okay? They, they, if they can't control, they go crazy when they can't control you. And so this is, a, this is another form of control. They're going to try to push this thing through. And what they're going to do is they're going to get Hollywood people. I talked about this two, three years ago. I said they're going to have the Beyonce's. And the, the uh, you know, all of the Hollywood people to come out on television with microchips and maybe even do it on commercial and show you how to do it and make it look cool. Oh, Ariana Grande has the microchip in her. She's so cool. She can access doors and stuff. Look, she can access the back doors of her concert. Wow. You know, she has the microchip and she's telling all of us to get one. That's what's coming, right? They're going to use the Hollywood puppets, the brainwash Hollywood puppets uh, to bring in this microchip, bring in this antichrist system. That's what they're there for. That's why they get paid the money they get paid is to brainwash people, is to make men fall, make men lust over them, make men idolize over them, and make men go to hell with them. And so they that, and this is what's going on. When you pack those concerts at the Beyonce concert, at the Jay-Z concert, at the uh, Britney Spears concert, all you're doing is you're, uh, you're, you're, you're showing your allegiance to the Antichrist system, New World Order system, and you are going into those concerts and they're putting you under a trance, they're putting you under mind control spells, and they're putting you under demonic uh, you know, demonic celebrations and you have no clue. You think you just go in there with your friends to hear some music and to have a good time. And that's exactly not what's going on. Uh, they got demonic symbols everywhere in the backgrounds. They're showing off their dance moves. Many times the women are half naked. So they're trying to make you lust over them uh, while they do their dance moves. And you're you're falling. And, if, and, and God forbid you know, you die at the, that concert, you know where you're going, right? Now, when we were young and we were growing up, we didn't know that stuff. We didn't know that if, you know, all, all this stuff that, that we know now, but now we do. Okay, so when you see people, when you hear people, oh man, 500 people have died at this concert, you feel, I feel sorry because I know where they're going, you know, and, and because they were put under a trance and they were worshiping the, the Antichrist system at that concert. And, and so they're in sin and when they die. Okay. And that is tragic, man, to, to, to be in sin when you die like that. You know, to be under a demonic trance, demonic spell, and then you die at the concert too. It's just like dying at a nightclub. This is why nightclubs are so dangerous to go to. And, you know, for all of us that used to go to nightclubs. You know, and be hearing that demonic music. We're hearing demonic music. You're drinking, you're smoking. People are drinking and smoking, getting high, getting drunk, uh, you know, dancing in, in, a, in a fornicated way, lusting over women. They, they're, they're walking by, touching, grabbing. All this stuff is going on in these, in these clubs. And, and then people die in their sins like that. That's, that is horrific, right? Uh, and we know that now. Back then, we, we had no clue. Me personally, I actually did. I knew what I, I knew. I was like, man, I hope I don't die tonight in this club because I know where I'm going if I die in this club because this I'm over here lusting. I'm over here, you know, uh, you know, listening to this demonic music. I know exactly what I was doing back then when I was a teenager. I when I, we were going to these clubs at 1920. I knew. I said, man, I always pray. I said, God, I know I'm doing wrong. Don't make, please, don't kill me in this club. You know what I mean? 
Like, I, I used to be in fear when I went, went to clubs because I knew if something pop off, I'm going straight to hell. I already know because I'm in, I'm in sin, right? And so this is one of the reasons why a lot of people are scared to death when anything pops off in the club because they know they're in sin. It's not really the gun that, you know, and the gunshots, that's part of it. But another, the, the biggest fear is that you know you're in sin and you don't want to die in, in that, in sin, right? And so you're like, Lord, I thought I had a hundred years to get out, you know, and I, I, I could go tonight. And that's the fear of God that comes into you, right? So this microchip is going to be the same way. They're going to put the fear of God in people because they're going to take everything that you have. They're going to take everything that you work for. They think, they're going to take everything from you. You're not going to be able to eat. You're not going to be able to drink water. You're not going to be, unless you're living in the, in, uh, in, on the, in the mountains or something like that, and, and they got some w running water and stuff like that. You're not going to be able to do anything without this microchip, okay? You might not be able to cook your food. You might need a microchip just to, to start the microwave, you know? Uh, you turn on the electricity, you might need to, to uh, you know, turn your lights on. You might have to do that. Uh, let me kick out of this. Okay, so you might have to you might have to um, use the, the microchip to turn your lights on. I mean, they're gonna make it so difficult for you to live in modern society without a barcode and a microchip, right? So uh, it, it's 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 very very sad that this is coming, and uh, it's in Revelations. We know it's coming. We know it's gonna be coming rapidly. Uh, and this uh, organization here, uh, this company in Wisconsin wants to bring it forth. And it looks like the employees are excited about it. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's no color. <laughs> if there's a color person, I would be surprised. Um, but anyways, uh, let's see here. It says, uh, uh, at first blush, it sounds like a talk of conspiracy theorists. Uh, no, there's no talk of conspiracy theorists with the microchip technology. It's It was in the Obamacare it's in Sweden, it's in Israel, it's in Switzerland, it's in a lot of these places in Australia. A lot of these places already have this, so it's not a conspiracy theory. Maybe three, maybe five years ago it was, but you know, but it's in the Bible. It's in, it's in, uh, it was in the Obamacare. The first Obamacare was in it. Then they, they took it out because um, they knew it wasn't going to pass without with, with that in there. I think they put it back. They, I think they secretly put it back in on the second go around, though, for Obamacare, and that's why we're seeing it. Um, a lot of us, like, like I said before, you know, like, like I said the last two years, Obama signed so many executive orders that you won't know the effects of those executive orders for another two to three to four years, and then you'll go back and say, "God, Lee, this man destroyed us." You're not gonna know until about two to three years from now. And we're starting to see what was in that Obamacare. And RFID chip was in it. Why do you guys didn't even know Obama had had the RFID chip in it? You guys thought Obama was a, was a, was a, was a saint of God. <laughs> and he had the RFID chip in his Obamacare. And you guys don't even know that. <laughs> they took it out the first time. I think they put it in the second time. That's why we're seeing it now. But anyway, I don't I don't know. Anyways, uh, it says not a conspiracy, blah, 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 blah. Was uh, a technology company in Wisconsin. So you guys that are doing coding, you guys that are uh, into technology in, the, in these companies, you better watch out. You better, you better start preparing yourselves because your company is going to do the exact same thing. All you technology companies, all you nurses and doctors, you better watch out because this is coming to your building. All you government contractors, it's coming. So you better have some uh leave money right uh hey i can leave at any time money you better start stacking your money so you can be able to walk out when they present when they force you into the they're not telling you if you want this or not they're going to force you into this and that's the difference right anything that is forced is demonic there's nothing god doesn't force us to do nothing so when they force you into a religion, they force you into an ideology, or they force you into taking this mark of the beast microchip, that's how you know it's demonic, right? Because God doesn't force us to do, he gave us free will, okay, to do what we want. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't force us to do anything. So you better have some money, to the retirement money, okay? You better be stacking, okay? Uh, you know, for me personally, if I was in this situation, I would put my money into Litecoin, and, and, you know, Bitcoin and Litecoin, 
and, and uh, you know, and if I had some, you know, if you had gotten some digi digi by that 300 range, that would have been a great pickup, right? I would have, I would put my money in those coins, you know, and I would just let that thing explode and then walk away, right? <laughs> You know, next next year, you know, if those coins were up ten times their value, I would you you just walk away, right? And and, and you would have a lot of money on hand. Uh, that's what I would do if I had like a hundred thousand in in cash sitting around. I would put it in Litecoin and <laughs> Digibyte and and uh, and Bitcoin, and I would just let that thing let those coins explode up and Gollum and let those coins explode up and. And and then make me a million, two, three million, four million dollars, and take it out and cash out and and uh, you know go get out of that system immediately and go um you know go buy a bunch of uh you know start preparing start preparing myself uh get it get out of the areas that are that are uh, heavy you know a city like and get into the rural areas uh prep some food some canned goods prep. Uh, the situation out, get some guns, get some things that you need, prep your family and say, hey, look, uh, you know, we're out of, you know, we're out of the system and we need to prepare ourselves, uh, you know, for the new system, the B system that's quickly coming our way. And we still have time. OK, we still have time. As you can see here, it says, uh, you know, within the next five to 10 years, uh, this will be a normal thing of microchipping. OK, so and that's coming from the software engineer, Sam. He says, yeah, within the next five to 10 years, everybody will be microchipped and this will be a normal thing. And right now it's kind of taboo and, uh, by the, and within the next 10 years, uh, it will be, everybody will be microchipped and uh, going through buildings, going accessing computers, accessing information, files, everybody will be mi microchipped and barred and barcoded and all this other stuff. So, uh, so prepare now, guys and girls, you have time. God has given us time. He's been so wonderful to us by giving us time because this was supposed to happen with the Obamacare uh, the first, first time, uh, but God, ex God did not allow it to happen. They fought in Congress to, to take it out. So we've gotten, we've had time. We've had time, guys and girls. So we can't say we haven't had time. God has extended time for us, especially here in America. We've had time. We've had a lot of grace. Okay, so God has extended time for us. And we're going to, and God's going to extend even more time for us under Donald Trump. So we're going to have time, uh, you know, to prepare ourselves for this new coming B system. Okay. Uh, you know, get wealthy in the cryptos, get wealthy in the currencies and take them and build yourself a farm, get yourself out of the cities, get into the rural areas, get yourself a farm, farmland, uh, keep your family close and, and big, big families and close families. Uh, have your guns, have your protection weapons, uh, you know, have your um, have your canned goods, have your lot of water stored up. Uh, get yourself ready for the for the for the B system that's coming. That's coming. But but in, still enjoy your life while we're in this old system. Right. We're not in the new world order system yet. We're not in the Antichrist B system yet. We're still in this new in this old system. Uh, old order and so while we're in it uh, prep while you're prepping enjoy your life right while we're in this system because once we get into the you know, new world order system it's going to be very hard if you haven't definitely if you haven't prepped yourself but you're going to be more uh, ex excluded you're going to be excluded from the world basically right you're not going to be able to go and buy things like everybody else because you're not going to have the microchip so you're going to be at your house more. You're going to be hanging with your family more. You'll be reading more. Uh, so get, you know, get in the habit of reading because that's what you're going to be doing a lot <laughs> in the B system, right? You're going to be reading a lot more. Um, you might even need a chip to turn on your TV and stuff. So I don't know, but uh, you'll be reading more. You'll be doing uh, things like that, more uh, outside activities in the farm. You'll be working on the farm to spend your time. It'll be like the biblical days, <laughs> okay? You'll be on the farm. You'll be reading. You'll be meditating. You'll be praying um, and things like that, right? So that's what's coming uh, in the near future. Uh, not right now, of course, but it's definitely, uh, they're telling you that it's coming and it's going to come really rapidly once it starts to happen with this Wisconsin company. The other companies are going to take notice and they're going to do the same thing. And uh, unfortunately, it is Caucasians that are pushing this. And I know a lot of you Caucasians that listen to me aren't for this. You're 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 a women and men of God, so you're not for this. But unfortunately, your uh, your people, 
are 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 the ones pushing this um you know thing very very heavily and these people are a lot of them are are, are atheists and satanists so they don't care what you think anyways right so it doesn't matter um you know they you they don't care if you're holy or not they 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 want it to happen and uh and yeah that's their whole goal they want you to be excluded they really really want uh the men and women of god to be excluded from the world right they want us to be excluded uh, and this is why they're going to be pushing this microchip. They want to fulfill the revelation, but they also want control. And they also want the men and women of God excluded from the world because they know you're not, you're not going to take the microchip. Now, a lot of us, a lot of people are, okay. So the, a lot of people are going to take the microchip because, you know, the Bible says that he makes most of the world take it, right? Even the elect, even the, even the highly elect of, in the church, Take it, right? So even they get fooled and take the mark of the beast, right? Uh, because they want to eat and they want to continue their rich life. So they take it just to continue their rich life. Knowing they're going to be damned into the lake of fire. They still take it just to live a rich life for another five years or ten years. That's ridiculous. You risk your whole eternity for five to ten years? Wow. You know what I mean? Like, no. not No. I'm not risking my... I'm not risking my eternity. Every time you get weak, every time you're hungry, every time you're you're uh, starving, ask yourself: Do I want to risk my eternity for another five, ten years, maybe twenty years of life? No, I did. No, you don't. Five. Five to ten years of life goes like that, but your eternity is forever with God, right? That's what you don't want to risk, eternity, right? And God only knows the pain of it, uh, the pain of the lake of fire, first of all. <laughs> uh, um, and you don't want to risk that. That's probably, that's probably uh, the pain of the lake of fire is probably diarrhea to, on, 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 on a million <laughs> just think of diarrhea and then think of uh, times it by a million. That's probably, that's probably the lake of fire. And you know, when we, we don't want that. Okay. Um, let's be strong. Let's know that this is coming and, uh, let's, let's make sure that we, 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 we stand firm that even if we have to starve to death, we'd rather starve and have eternity with God than take this, not starve, for another five to ten years, maybe of our lives, and then and then go into the lake of fire, <laughs> you know, like that's ridiculous. Um, anyways, that's it for me. I know this was kind of a weird video, but it, this thing is coming. It's coming to America now. Wisconsin is going to start it off, and uh, and yeah, and then it's going to spread like wildfire throughout the world. And uh, yeah, he, they call you know rich and poor to take the mark. And, uh, and to worship the beast and the beast system. So, eyes open, guys and girls. Stay strong. It's coming. Stay strong. Stay strong in the Lord. Stay strong. Do not sell your soul for a loaf of bread. You're worth way more than that. Okay? You know, ask the Lord for strength uh, when this happens. And ask the Lord to take you. If, you. if you can't make it, ask the Lord to take you. You know, you can always ask the Lord to take you, you know. Don't don't be don't be shy about that. You're, if you're not committing suicide, if you ask the Lord to take you, right? <laughs> if you if you take yourself, then that's suicide. But if you pray, if you're in this situation and you're starving to death, then just you pray, pray to the Lord to take you. Say, Lord, I don't I don't want to starve to death. Just take take me in my sleep. Bring the angels down to take me because I'm I'm going to go anyways, right? So I'm 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 in the wilderness. I'm starving to death. Either take me or bring food or bring let the angels bring food for me, right? And that's it. And he'll listen to you and he'll either take you, he'll bring the Sunday angels to take you or he'll send the angels to bring food for you or he'll send somebody to stumble upon you and bring food for you. That's all, you know, stay close with the Lord. Eyes open, bye.